各位同学，大家好，欢迎大家收看商务英语会话。今天我们要进入的是第三课啊，我是西永慧，这位是我们助讲老师 Jessica 老师。好，那今天我们 we have a lot to cover today 啊，所以呢，我们就直接啊，废话不多说，我们就直接看看我们的对话。You've obviously done this before. You do good work. Ah,、oh, thanks. Sarah asked me to show you the ropes. Sarah is our head, and she reports to Tony. Did she tell you that I had worked in two large department stores before? Uh, no, she didn't. She just asked me to demonstrate how we manage our stock and customers, of course. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. I know you have a lot of work to be getting on with. Yes, I do. But that's okay. Well, let me show you the stock boxes now. Okay. You'll need to know how many copies of each of the books on your list are in the stock box, and then in the margin, note how many are on the shelf.、Uh, isn't that a little slow? Why don't you simply barcode the books as they come in, so that you have a record in the computer of what's in stock? Oh, we do that as well. Unfortunately, stock sometimes gets misplaced or even skips the system altogether. Sarah likes to keep a tight rein on stock. Good for her. Next, I'll show you the counter procedures. Well, now, I guess you already have a lot of experience dealing with customers, so I don't need to say much about that. But there are some things you might not be familiar with. For instance, we never offer refunds on books without a receipt or on books that are in poor condition. And we never offer refunds on sell items. We never give bags to customers unless they're purchasing a book, and never give them extra bags. If there is ever any problem with the credit card transaction, we have to phone the credit card company right away, in case it's a stolen card. Yes, most of what you said is standard procedure, but I'm wondering about the database. Perhaps you can show me how to check an inquiry about a book. Oh, of course. In fact, you can check the availability of any book on any floor in the store using this database. Unfortunately, as I said before, books are not always where they should be on the shelves. So before you send a customer up to the fifth floor, you should phone the bookseller on that floor to double check. Oh, you don't want that menu. Here, this is the quickest way to get information. That's great, and how do I process a customer order? That's really easy too. You go from this menu, go to this one, and it automatically fills out the order form. You just have to enter the customer details and the quantity required. And how do we know when an order has arrived? Once a new arrival is scanned by Goods In, a star will appear on the screen next to the book to indicate that it is a customer order. Goods in will separate the stock, and when it arrives on our floor, we rescan it under this menu, and then the customer information will come up. Hmm, that looks like a pretty good system. Customers get really upset when their book orders go missing. Huh? You're telling me. It happens occasionally, but we do everything we can to keep our customers happy. I know how important it is to win customer loyalty. Is there anything else you'd like me to show you now? No, I don't think so. But thanks for the shop floor training. Is this how all of the training is carried out? No, no. There is formal in-house training once a month, but occasionally we get bulletins about courses. But all of the special courses are conducted at head office. Have you ever taken any of these courses yourself? Of course. Sarah likes to keep her staff up to date on all of the latest management trends. 这课对话稍微长一点，不过没有关系。我们先休息一下，然后呢，等下再回来看一看有什么样的智慧词组是我们所需要注意的。OK， 那我们现在就来看看这些重要的智慧词组啊。同样的，我们请 Jessica 老师先�帮我们念英文，那我再来讲解中文。Number one, to show somebody the ropes. 
教某人工作所需要的知识和技巧。例如，我们看看这个例句。This is your department head, Miss Smith. She will show you the ropes and answer any questions you might have. 这是你的部门主管史密斯女士啊，她会教你并且回答你的问题。Number two, to report to somebody. 对某人负责啊，是某人的直属部下。All personnel will report to Miss Smith, director of this task force. 所有的人员直接对本专案小组组长史密斯女士负责。Number three, to demonstrate. 示范或者是展示的意思。Please demonstrate to us how to work the machine. 请示范一下如何操作这个机器。Number four, to get on with. 继续从事某件事情。I just got on with the job at hand and ignored the company politics. 我只是专心继续自己的工作，不管公司里面的勾心斗角。Number five to note. 写明、注明或者是注意。The secretary noted the date of the interview in his memorandum book. 秘书在他的行事历上写下了访谈的日期。Number six margin. 边缘或者是页边的空白处。Someone wrote a note in the left-hand margin. The manager is not making any sense. 这可能是会议的时候有人在那边偷写哈，所以呢，有人在左边的空白处写道：“经理不知所云，哈，不知道经理在说什么。” Number seven to barcode. 扫描条码。The clerk barcoded every item in the shopping cart. 店员将购物车内的货品一一扫描条码。Number eight to misplace. 因放错地方而暂时的遗失。Oh dear! I seem to have misplaced the receipt. I need it to get a refund. Oh, 老天啊，我找不到收据，我需要退货，要需要这个收据。Number nine to skip. 跳过或者是略过。I'm going to skip all the preliminaries and go right to the main argument. 我要跳过序言啊，直接进入主要的论点。Number ten to keep a tight rein, grip, or hold on something. 好，所以这个用 rein、用 grip、用 hold 都可以哈。那我们来看看这个例句，这个意思就是严格的控管哈。我们看看例句。The new CEO keeps a tight rein on company finances. 新来的执行长对公司财务严加控管。Number eleven to offer refunds on something. 提供退费的服务。The store offers refunds even on sale items. 这家店即使特价品也可以退钱。Number twelve item. 啊，这个字有很多意思。不过在这一课里面，我们的意用法是货品的意思。例如 ，We never spend money on luxury items such as perfumes and brand name clothes. 啊，我们从来不在香水啊，或者是名牌衣服这种奢侈品上面花钱啊。Luxury items 就是奢侈品的意思。Number thirteen, transaction. 交易。My company made millions on that real estate transaction. 好，这地方这个 made 就是赚的意思。好，所以他赚了好几百万。好，那我的公司呢？从那一笔不动产交易赚了好几百万哈。Real estate 就是不动产。Number fourteen, straight away. 立刻马上，我们也可以讲 right away 啊，意思是一样的。I'll go and check straight away. 我现在就立刻去查看。Number fifteen, inquiry. 询问啊，这个字呢，你也可以把它拼成 i n 哈。前面我们刚刚看到是 e n 啊，但是用 i n 来拼也可以 ，i n q u i r y 也是可以的。好，我们看看这个例句。We're getting a lot of inquiries about our new product. 好，那大家注意到 inquiries 后面可以加 about 啊，所以呢，我们接到许多有关于我们新产品的询问。Number sixteen, availability. 取用某物的可能性。Orders are shipped from our Taizhong warehouse and are delivered within three to nineteen business days, depending on availability and distance from our warehouse. 订单都是由我们台中仓库出货，那是存货的状况还有运送距离。啊，会在三到十九个工作天之内可以送达。Number seventeen to double check。好，这个字呢是再检查一次，仔细检查的意思。所以不一定是说再检查一次，其实它主要就是意思就是仔细的检查。Please double check to make sure that all information you provided is correct。好，请你再检查一次，查查看你所提供的资料是否完全都正确。Number eighteen to fill out a or the form。啊，就是填表的意思。注意这个 fill out， 你可以当做一个动词片语来用啊，就是填写的意思。那它的受词就是这个表格。好，我们看看这个例句。I need you to fill out this form of application. 
，好，请你填写这张申请表。那当然，英文里面是说 I need you to do something。那其实这是英文里面表示请求的一种方法。好，这不是说我需要你来填，不要这样直接翻译哈，就是我请你要做这件事情的意思。好，我们再看看下一个啊，第十九个 ，Number nineteen to enter。这个是动词，进入的意思，好，相当于 to key in 这个片语。Just enter the keywords here, and the search engine will find what you need. 好，你只要在这个地方呢，进入关键字哈 ，keywords 就是关键字。那然后呢，搜寻引擎就会花，就会找到你所需要的这个资讯。Number twenty to scan， 这个字在这里当动词用，扫描的意思。Can you scan the contract into the computer and then email it to Steve？ 好，能不能请你呢，把这一份的合约扫描到电脑里面，然后用 email 寄给 Steve？ 所以 scan something into the computer 就是用电脑把它扫描起来。我们看下一个。Number twenty-one to separate. 好，这个是动词，分开的意思。We will separate the good ones from the bad ones. 好，所以 separate A from B 就是把 A 跟 B 把它分开来。所以这句的意思就是，我们会把好的跟坏的把它分开来。Number twenty-two, upset. 恼怒，心情不好。这个地方是当形容词使用，这个字有的时候也可以当动词用啊。不过这里是形容词，我们来看看这个例句。Our buyers are very upset about the delay. We should think of something to compensate them. 好，那买主呢对这一次延期很不高兴，我们要想个办法来补偿他们。Number twenty-three, you're telling me. 那还用说 ？A, if we invest wisely, we can make a huge profit. B, you're telling me. 好，假说，哎，如果我们聪明投资的话，就可以大赚一笔。那这个还用你说吗？你懂得聪明投资，当然可以大赚一笔啊。所以也就说，这还用说 ？You're telling me 啊，有的时候这个意思就是，哎，你这这有什么好说的？你讲的等于没讲啊。OK， 好，那我们再看看下一个。Number twenty four to carry out。这个是个动词片语，表示实施或者是实行的意思。We carry out spot checks on all orders before they leave the warehouse. 好，这 spot checks 就是所谓的抽样检查。好，所以在所有的货物离开这个货物，呃，货物仓之前 ，warehouse 仓库。好，在离开之前，我们都会抽样检查。所以这句的例句意思就是说，我们的货物出仓库之前都会抽样的检查。好，我们再看一下下一个。Number twenty five, in house training. 好，这个是在职训练。哈，有的时候我们也可以讲 on the job training。哈，意思是差不多的。好，我们看看这个例句。The cost for in-house training varies depending on the lecture and the duration of the course. 在职训练的成本啊，是讲师还有课程时间而有所不同。Number twenty-six, bulletin. 公告。The hospital issues bulletins on the progress of the sick president. 医院发布公告来说明总裁康复的状况。Number twenty-seven, conduct. 执行。We will be conducting a survey of consumer attitudes towards liquid bread. 我们将会问卷调查顾客对液态面包的反应啊，没有液态面包，这我 I made it up。<笑>好，我们看看下一个。Uh, number twenty-eight, up to date。最新的，没有过期的资讯。We'll keep you up to date with any new developments。有什么最新的发展，我们会告诉你。Number twenty-nine, trend。趋势。Recently, there has been a trend towards simpler styles in women's clothing。近来，女装款式有简单化的趋势。OK， 我们现在呢看完了这些字词用法之后，我们要再休息一下，让各位头脑稍微冷静一下，整理一下，然后呢，我们接下来休息回来之后，再看一下焦点用法。OK， 我们来看看焦点用法啊。焦点用法里面呢，第一个我们要看的是这个片语 to show somebody the ropes 啊，就是告诉某人某些工作的一些要诀啊。那在这里呢，大家注意，这个 the ropes 在这里指的是从事某项工作，或者是操作某一个机器啊所需要的知识还有技巧。那它这个字除了跟 show 连用之外呢，也常常跟 learn 或者 know 这个动词来连用啊。例如，我们这可以举个例子。My job is complicated. When I started, I spent the first three months just learning the ropes. 我的工作很复杂啊！我刚开始做的时候呢，学如何上手就花了三分哎三个月啊。所以 spent three months not learning 啊，或者是这个 spent 后面要记得花一段时间做什么事情，后面是加 v i n g。我们再看看下一个例句。Jeff has been a successful investor for 25 years. He knows the ropes when it comes to making the right investment decisions. 
，杰夫他有二十五年的成功投资经验。所以说到如何正确投资，哎，他可懂得很啊。When it comes to， 这是一个很重要的这个用法哈、啊，就是当我们谈到什么的时候，好、啊，所以这里就是说，他谈到投资的时候，他可是懂得很的。好，我们再看看下一个。To demonstrate， 好 ，to demonstrate 这个焦点用法呢，这个除了课文里面的这个示范啊、展示啊这个意思之外，它也可以表示显示的意思啊。例如，我们可以举一个例子来表示这种用法。Recent events demonstrate the need for a change in company policy. 好，近来的这些事件的发展，哈，发显示公司需要政策上面做一些改变，啊，那有的时候呢 ，to demonstrate 的意思是示威的意思，啊，例如我们可以举一个例子 ，the workers demonstrated for better working conditions。好，所以这个地方不是说这个工人出来展示一下，哈，希望能够啊得到这个 working condition 比较好的 working conditions， 不是，而是示威的意思，好，所以工人的示威呢，他们要求要有更好的工作条件，那注意工作条件的英文是 working conditions。好，我们再看看下一个。To get on with。好，那 to get on with 这个呢是英式的英文哈，英国人比较常用，美国人也会用啊，但是比较少啊。那他这个除了从呃从事某件事情之外呢，如果说他的受词是人的话，他也可以表示相处的意思啊，这也是英国人常用的一种用法。例如，我们可以讲，例如啊，我们举一个例子。I've always got on well with Paula。啊，我一向跟 Paula 相处的不错。好，那我们也可以不加 with 或者是受词啊，例如我们可以说。My two cats get on well most of the time. 好，我养两只猫呢，大多数的时间相处的还不错啊。因为如果养两只猫，哎，养两只猫的话，最怕就是两只猫啊，这个心情不好，感情不好，一天到晚打架啊，或者是摧毁你的家具，你就很麻烦的。那英文里面呢，我们也常常常说 to get on with one's life。啊，那这个意思呢，就是说经过一些挫折啊、啊停顿或者失望打击之后，继续一个人的人生啊。例如，我们可以讲说 ，I don't see how I can just forget about her and get on with my life after all we've been through。好，这个大概是失恋之后常常会讲的话哈、啊。哎，我们两个共同经历了这么多的事情，我不知道我如何能够忘了她，继续走我的人生啊。那所以这个句子大家可以啊，希望大家不要失恋了。不过失恋的话，回来再看看这个句子是蛮有蛮好用的。好，我们再看看下一个例句。Get on with it. 好，那这是个短句哈，那表示动作快点。这个 it 指什么呢？这 it 就是指不管你 whatever you're doing now 哈，所以 get on with it 就是短句，表示你动作快一点啊。例如我们可以说 Stop messing around and get on with it. 啊，不要乱混啊，动作快点啊。Mess around 就是混的意思，就 stop messing around， 不要乱混的。Get on with it 啊，赶快动作快一点。好，我们再看看下一个用法要注意的。Note. 啊，这个字呢，除了我们课文里面的这个记下的这个意思之外呢，它当动词的时候还可以表示注意到啊的意思。例如，我们可以讲说 ，Please note the following instructions。好，这个例如说，各位买新的机器啊，或者是新的药，这个反正新的这个玩具等等，它可能就告诉你，请你注意以下的指示啊。Instruction 就是指示。好，那例如我们再看，举另外一个例子，这个时候的 note 就是注意的意思。Please note that this bill must be paid within twenty days. 好，这也是很重要的事情，要注意哈。所以请注意呢，这笔货款必须在二十天之内支付。好，所以 please note that 这是很常用的，尤其在商务英语里面常用到一个东西。Please note that 就是注意一下这个 that 子句里面所表达的这件事情。好，所以这句话就是请注意这个货款货款呢必须要在二十天之内来支付。好，我们再看看下一个 margin。啊，这个字啊，它本来是指边缘的意思哈、啊，所以这个字一般来讲常用的意思是边缘。不过在商务英语里面呢，这个字常常用来指利润的意思啊。例如，我们可以举一个例子 ：Margins are low, and many smaller companies are struggling. 好，从这个例句里面，大家要注意到 ，margin 首先它可以加 s 哈，所以 margins are low 就是利润很低。然后呢，很多小的公司他们在 struggling，struggling struggling 就在挣扎。好，那在挣扎，换句话说，他们都面临了困境。好，所以我们把它翻成许多小公司都面临了困境。好，我们再看看下一个例句。Within five years, we expect to have a profit margin of fifty percent. 好，我们预期五年之内的利润可以达到百分之五十。哈 ，we expect to have a profit margin. Profit margin 就是利润啊，那 profit 就是我们的说赚到的钱。好，那我们现在看看第六个下一个用法。Good for somebody。好，这个时候我们可以表达赞同或者是赞许对方的做法啊，在英文里面常常可以这样用。例如，我们举个例子。So I told her we both need to forget about the past and get on with our lives. Good for you. 啊，所以呢，甲就说，所以啊，我就告诉他啦，我们两个人呢都应该忘了
过去所发生的事情，继续我们的人生啊。这可能是两个人吵架啦，哈、啊，这个吵完之后，啊，这个终于啊 ，A 跟 B 就吵架两方，有一方跟对方说，哎呀，我们应该忘了这些过去的事情，不愉快的事情就让它过去，我们要 get on with our lives， 我们继续我们的人生。那乙听了就说：“哎，好样的，你这样做是对的啊 ，good for you， 很好，这是应该做的。所以这是乙赞成甲所做的事情，所以这有一点赞许的说法啊。好，那我们再看看下一个。To have a lot of experience verbing。好，那这也是一个很常用的一个句型，它表示呢做某件事情的经验很丰富啊。对，大家记得 to have a lot of experience 后面加个 v 加个 ing， 就表示做这件事情啊经验非常丰富。例如，我们可以举个例子。” I have a lot of experience selling used cars. 好 ，used cars 就是二手车，所以这句话意思就是说我卖二手车是很有经验的。I have a lot of experience selling. 好，记得那个 sell 后面加个 ing。好，那我们再举另外一个例子，大家当然熟悉一下这个字的用法。We have a lot of experience trading with foreign companies. 好，所以各位注意到 trading 啊 ，trade 加个 ing 啊，后面还要加 with。所以呢，我们有很多的经验跟外国的公司。做生意哈，所以大家记得这个用法。To have a lot of experience， 后面加个 v i n g。好，例如你可以说 ，Well， I have a lot of experience dealing with customers。啊，我对这个处理跟这个顾客之间互动，我有很多的经验。所以这个句型大家背熟之后啊，你后面这个动词随时换，你这样子你的英文就会很流利。所以你背的时候，你不要光背 experience， 你不要再讲说啊 ，a lot of experience， 后面呢再加个 v i n g， 这样背都太慢了。你直接把它整个。Lexical chunk, 把它背起来 Have a lot of experience doing something. 啊，这样的话，那个 doing 那个 v i n g v 随时换，你可以随时造出很多很流利的英文句子出来。好，我们再看看那 experience 这个字啊，后面有的时候会加 in。那这个时候呢，它强调是在哪一方面或者哪一个领域啊很有经验。例如，我们可以看看下面这一个例句。I have a lot of experience in the restaurant business, so I know what I'm doing. OK， 所以这个地方各位看到。A lot of experience in the restaurant business. 好，所以在这一方面我有很多的经验。好，那所以这句话中文的意思就是说我在餐饮业方面很有经验。好，所以呢，我知道我在做什么。这句话了 ，I know what I'm doing. 啊，这句话在字面上看来好像很简单，我知道我在做什么。但是英文事实上很常用这句话。好，所以这这句话的意思就是说，通常是有点有时候可以当警告来用。I I hope you know what you're doing. 啊，所以呢，你看到别人在做一件事，你你你觉得不太对劲哦，你这样做很危险哦。好，那你劝了之后，对方又不听，你可能就会讲这句 ：I hope you know what you're doing。啊，或者是别人如果怀疑你，哈、啊，别人说：哎，你这样做对吗？啊，你这样弄对吗？你就说 ：Well, don't worry, I know what I'm doing。啊，就我知道我在干什么，所以没问题，担不用担心。所以这是英文常用的一个句子 ，right？OK，、okay, 好，那我们再看看下面这个例句 ：My friend has a lot of experience in programming。好，所以 in programming 就在城市设计这一方面，我的朋友很有经验，所以翻成中文我们就说我的朋友呢，城市设计很有经验。好， experience 四个字呢，大家记得后面有的时候也可以加 with， 那它加 with 的时候呢，常常是接一个名词啊。例如我们看看下面这个例句： My mother has a lot of experience with children of all ages。我妈妈应付更年龄层的小孩很有经验。好，我们再看看下一点： You don't want to。好，这个句型呢，除了表面表示字面上的意思之外呢，也常常用来表示告诫或者是劝阻啊。例如 ，Trust me, you don't want to miss this one。相信我，你不会想错过这个啊。意思就是千万别错过，这是告诫。You don't want to be seen as a job hopper because it can reflect negatively on you。好 ，job hopper 就是到处换工作的人。好，所以这句就是说，不要让别人觉得你四处换工作，因为这会造成别人对你不好的印象。A, what happened? B, oh, you don't want to know. 发生了什么事啊？啊，你不会想知道的。但其实这个意思就是，你别问了，我不想说。好，我们看,看第九个。好 ，separate 这个字啊，如果是形容词的话是念 separate， 但它也可以当动词用。那这个时候它的发音是 separate。好，那个 eight rate 这是当动词用。那至于这个例句呢，因为时间的关系，我们就不念了。好，那请各位同学自己参考各位的课本。接下来我们就来看一看，再看一次我们这个对话。You've obviously done this before. You do good work. Oh, thanks. Sarah asked me to show you the ropes. Sarah is our head, and she reports to Tony. Did she tell you that I had worked in two large department stores before? Uh, no, she didn't. She just asked me to demonstrate how we manage our stock and customers, of course. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. I know you have a lot of work to be getting on with. Yes, I do. But that's okay. Well, let me show you the stock boxes now. Okay. 
You'll need to know how many copies of each of the books on your list are in the stock box. And then in the margin, note how many are on the shelf. Uh, isn't that a little slow? Why don't you simply barcode the books as they come in so that you have a record in the computer of what's in stock? Oh, we do that as well. Unfortunately, stock sometimes gets misplaced or even skips the system altogether. Sarah likes to keep a tight rein on stock. Good for her. Next, I'll show you the counter procedures. Well, now, I guess you already have a lot of experience dealing with customers, so I don't need to say much about that. But there are some things you might not be familiar with. For instance, we never offer refunds on books without a receipt or on books that are in poor condition, and we never offer refunds on sell items. We never give bags to customers unless they're purchasing a book and never give them extra bags. If there is ever any problem with a credit card transaction, we have to phone the credit card company right away in case it's a stolen card. Yes. Most of what you said is standard procedure. But I'm wondering about the database. Perhaps you can show me how to check an inquiry about a book. Oh, of course. In fact, you can check the availability of any book on any floor in the store using this database. Unfortunately, as I said before, books are not always where they should be on the shelves. So before you send a customer up to the fifth floor, you should phone the bookseller on that floor to double check. Oh, you don't want that menu. Here, this is the quickest way to get information. That's great. And how do I process a customer order? That's really easy too. You go from this menu, go to this one, and it automatically fills out the order form. You just have to enter the customer details and the quantity required. And how do we know when an order has arrived? Once a new arrival is scanned by goods in, a star will appear on the screen next to the book to indicate that it is a customer order. Goods in will separate the stock, and when it arrives on our floor, we rescan it under this menu. And then the customer information will come up. Hmm. That looks like a pretty good system. Customers get really upset when their book orders go missing. Huh, you're telling me. It happens occasionally, but we do everything we can to keep our customers happy. I know how important it is to win customer loyalty. Is there anything else you'd like me to show you now? No, I don't think so, but thanks for the shop floor training. Is this how all of the training is carried out? No, no, there is formal in-house training once a month, but occasionally we get bulletins about courses. But all of the special courses are conducted at head office. Have you ever taken any of these courses yourself? Of course. Sarah likes to keep her staff up to date on all of the latest management trains. 这个对话是蛮长的啊，不过呢，各位不需要全部把背对话背起来。当然，你如果能够背是很好了啊。但是呢，像这种对话，各位学习的时候要注意的就是，我们提出来这些 word chunks 或者 lexical chunks 啊，你要学的是常用的一些句子啊，还有一些这个句构的方法啊。那你学多的话，以后你就比较容易能够流利的使用英文啊。所以各位要多加的练习，能够背多少就背多少，尽量的去背啊。这样的话就会练习。熟能生巧，总会有进步。好，那我们今天就到这里为止，谢谢各位啊，再会。